Now, you know, when you sit in the booth uh, for the games and, and you spend hours there, because it's not just the game you do, it's the pregame show, it's the postgame show, and then you're involved during the week. You and your cohorts, Jim Zoki and Eugene Robinson, are all paid by the Panthers, correct? Last time I checked, we were, yes. So you guys are, are you homers, or do you really feel free to call the shots as you see them? Or are you there to pump the fans up and make them pro Panthers and pump the team up no matter what's happening there? Well, what's, what's your job? What well, have you been told your job is? I haven't been told anything. Uh, Mr. Richen said that, Mick, you're free to say anything you want to on the air. Really? And we're free to renew or not renew your contract. Because <laughs> as, as there was a guy, fit. I think it was, maybe it was you and me, or it could have been you, it could have been me and, and Jim Zoki years ago who were talking about the guy who used to do play-by-play for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And he, I, I used to listen to him on 3WE. Joe Tate? I've forgotten his name, but he was blistering about the Cavaliers. He would call them all kinds of names because they couldn't play. And, he, and he'd call the coach all And then he disappeared one day. So oh, that wouldn't be Joe Tate. He, <laughs> he had a great career. Well, it can happen. You know, you, you, uh, I feel so fortunate to, to be able to try to represent in some small way this, this organization, the Panthers. Mike. It's, it's really neat because, really, seriously, we haven't been told anything. There's a lot of trust involved. They know that we have a job to do, and if you have no journalistic credibility at all, then you're not going to be worth listening to. If every, if every penalty on, on your broadcast, if every penalty went against the Panthers and the officials are, are not doing their job and, oh, this should have been that or should have been this, then, then you're just going to be that, that squeaky voice that nobody's going to want to well, listen but to. But even sitting here this morning, you're, you're talking about the future of the Panthers coming up this season, the people that they've drafted, the, the, the difference between the, the Fox era and the Rivera era, the arrival of Cam Newton and how great he is and how, what, what his potential appears to be. And you're really pumped about this. The question is, are you really pumped or are you, are you, is part of your job to be the pumper? No, I am really, really pumped. If you'd had me on... If I could have gotten on your show two years ago uh, and you said, what do you think about the prospects for the Carolina Panthers? You know, we, we might have had a little bit different. Uh-huh. You know, the, the, the pumpitude needle might have been not quite in the red because we had some obvious problems we needed to solve our quarterback question. It's a quarterback-driven league. If you don't have a good trigger man, it's going to be very difficult for you to win consistently. And so until Cam Newton was drafted – the future didn't look quite like mm. it looks right now. So with with Ron, I mean, you cannot not be. I get, you come with me to work when you're. Sh- what are you doing when the show's over? Working. All right. We get. What about tomorrow? <laughs> Working. We we got mini camp going on. <laughs> C- come with me for a couple hours to the stadium, and you'll be pumped. All right. Mick Mixit is the voice of the Carolina Panthers. We're going to continue our conversation in a moment. Charlotte talks on WFAE.